Hi guys, this is another tutorial for smart physics problem. As always, you can see the full question down in the description. This problem is the AC circuit 1. Okay, here we have this circuit that has a generator, a resistor, capacitor, and inductor. They give us the inductor, the R is unknown, we have the capacitor, the voltage of the generator is max, and we have the I max. And the question is asking about what is the excuse me what is the phi okay how would we find that well what is the phi though the phi is the angle between the between the impedance And the R, this one is the, if we say that this is XL, this is the reactance of the inductor, and this is the reactance of the capacitor. So this is XL minus XC. Okay, so this is the angle we're going to find. So we either find the resistor and the Z, or we find the XL minus XC and the Z, or we can find this or this. So we need to find just either two of them. We can use the sine or tan or cosine. Okay, so I'll find the Z first. The impedance is like the, what I understand is that I think this is like the resistor for the whole thing. And this is, is the, the voltage of the generator, max over I max. Okay. We have this, so it's 120 over 1 1.4 ampere, and I got for this was 85.714 ohm. Okay, this is the impedance, so this is the Z. Let's see here. Okay. If we have the R, we can just use the cosine, and we can find the phi for this one. Okay. Uh, right, so the reactance for the inductor is L omega, and we don't have the omega, we have the frequency actually, they gave us the frequency, I forgot to put it here, so for the frequency is 310 hertz, okay, and to change from omega to frequency, omega equal 2 pi f, so doing the same here, it's L 2 pi f, okay, I got for this one, I got 46.74 ohms, and for the xc, it's 1 over cw, same if I change it to the frequency c2 pi frequency and for this guy I got uh, I got 12.83 ohms okay all right so we need to find this vector here if we go back to here we need to find this vector now we need to take this minus this so xl minus xc and it is 46.74 minus 12.83. And for this guy, I got 33.916 ohm. All right, now we have the triangle. We have two elements of the triangle. We can find the other one. So this one is 33.916. And this one, the impedance is 85.714. Okay, this is the phi. Alright, so we can use the relationship that can connect both of these together. Sine phi equal 33.916 over 85.714. I take the sine inverse. And I got for this one, I got 23.3 degrees. Right.
great. I hope this helped and good luck.